It's your girl Sheena with She Is Bad and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. So I am headed to my pre-op appointment for surgery. <laughs> um, I'm not nervous. I'm super excited. I might be more nervous um, once that actual day gets here. But today is my pre-op appointment, so I am ready and getting ready to head out of the door. Um, I will show you guys an outfit of the day. And then um, after my pre-op appointment, I have some errands to run. Uh, I'm gonna grab lunch with my sisters, which I haven't done in a very long time. You guys know my sisters, um, Kelly and Lish. And then back home to finish prepping for the big day. So let me show you my outfit, but let me tell you what my fragrance of the day is. I mixed my Creed Happy Flower with my Marc Jacobs Honey for a very um, light, summery, or springy, summery scent. I forgot I had that Marc Jacobs um, Honey. Um, I had it hidden away in my bathroom, and as I was doing my cleaning, sure enough, I found it. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you ladies what I am wearing. All right, guys, so ignore the bed because I'm going to wash my sheets and um, make my bed once I get home so that I'll have fresh sheets for my procedure. But anyway, um, this is my LV Toiletry 26. I just have this chain from Amazon. Um, I did a whole reel on how to connect um, your chain to your bag without putting holes in it because I actually have that little um, T26 organizer um, inside of my bag. Um, I will um, link both of those in the description down below and then if you are following me on instagram then you've probably already seen the reel um this dress is from boohoo it is extremely short so i do have biker shorts on underneath um and then i just have my gucci slides on i was gonna wear my mules but um they didn't look it didn't look right to me and i didn't want to wear my sandals because i actually need a pedicure but honey it is what it is at this point um and then sometime today i will have to get my nails removed because i cannot have my nails on for surgery and then i'm just wearing my apple watch and my two lv bracelets and my chanel earrings my chanel little studs that i wear all the time that i love and a lot of you probably wondering why i wear the same earrings it's because one of my earlobes is almost split so i cannot wear heavy earrings um i do need to get it repaired that is something that i'll probably probably get done this summer because there are so many hoops i want to get the f for fendi hoops so bad but i just can't buy them right now because you know my ear is already on its last leg okay my ear um my earlobe and then i also that's why i don't wear my louis vuitton earrings anymore either because um of the damage to my ear so but anyway i will check in with you guys later after my appointment bye Okay guys, so I am cleared for surgery. Um, my pre-op appointment went fantastic. Um, all of my numbers look good, all of my labs were good. My BMI was, uh, was within range. Y'all, I worked so hard, so hard to lose this weight so that I can have my procedure done and it is finally here. So by the time you guys see this video, um, I will be, um, belly free <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and insert um, a picture for you guys of what my tummy looks like and now the before and then of course i will be able to show you guys some after photos um once i'm home and the swelling has gone down a little bit 
give you guys a sneak peek but yeah um bye stomach okay goodbye goodbye fupa goodbye excess skin goodbye to it all so all right so next stop is i'm meeting my sisters for lunch um i need to take something back to h not h-e-b i need to take something back to h&m uh, and i need to get these nails off so let's go ahead <laughs> Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about, oh, I've been cleaning, excuse me, excuse the mess, but I wanted to finish off this video. Um, so um, my surgery is on tomorrow. So by the time you guys see this video, I will have already had my tummy tuck done. Um, I did not have time to remove my nails. So I just removed these two fingernails and then I will get the rest of them off. But uh, you do have to remove your nails so that they can put the oxygen sensor on your index fingers. So I did that. Um, I picked up my prescriptions because you do have some prescriptions that you have to pick up. Um, I have an antibiotic. I have pain medication, um, Valium. Okay, the good stuff and uh, nausea medication. So I just picked those up from CVS. And then um, I am having my surgery with Mia Aesthetics. I'm not gonna go into the doctor or the price, not on this video anyway. Excuse me guys, my hair is sticking up. Um, maybe I can do those things at a later date. But um, my pack, I got a tummy tuck and then I purchased um, a couple of packages. I, pa I purchased the package with the massages as well as um, I did get a stage one Faha which they fitted me for today I really don't like the way that it fits um, the first Faha the stage one Faha is just really for um, comfort it doesn't really suck you in because I felt like the one that I tried on a day was a little bit too big but she said that's the way that it's supposed to fit because it's a stage one and then stage three is when where you really get the compression and um the contouring so i have to wear the stage one faha for three weeks and then um beginning on my fourth week i think she said that is when i go up to a stage two so i will be looking to buy stage two faha i probably will not buy one from them because like i said um, not only does it feel loose, I just don't like the way that it fits. It's very loose up here. I have to crisscross the, the straps and then it pokes out in the back. Um, I do know that I will have to wear the Faha for a very long time. So I would like something that is very well fitting so that I can wear it underneath my clothes. And the one that they are providing at the surgery center uh, at my doctor it's not it guys it is not it it was very expensive i don't even feel like it's worth the money but it is what it is i also purchased a foam board this goes in the front of my faja to help me to not bend because i cannot do any bending i cannot do any housework like i i'm not on bed rest i do have to get up and move around but i'm not to be doing anything other than walking back and forth <laughs> from the kitchen and then walking around my house. Um, depending on how I feel, I might go outside and do a little bit of walking, um, but I do live on the third floor, so I don't know how realistic I'm gonna be about that. But I am supposed to, I think, get up um, every couple of hours. Um, I have my, my um, instructions in here, which I will go over again, but I do need to move around. And then they also gave me some foam boards. I believe these are just more for comfort. I'm not real sure if I'm going to need them in the stage one Faha, but I did purchase these and then um, I got an abdominal binder. So I do have to bring this binder with me tomorrow because they're going to put this on me as well. And then they provided me with a antibacterial cleanser that I need to um, shower with before I report to the surgery center. 
so yeah guys that is it um i did watch quite a few videos on youtube about um what i should be purchasing pre-surgery um and a lot of the things that a lot of the ladies bought i just didn't feel like i needed um i was going to get a walker from my job but i just kind of feel like I'm going to feel like I'm not, I don't need it. I mean, I don't know why I feel that way, but, um, I am going to take the pain medication. I mean, I pushed a baby out naturally and I have a very, very high pain tolerance. So y'all just pray for your girl. Okay. Pray for your girl. Cause I did not get the walker. And then as far as something for my scar uh, or my incision, which will of course be a, um, I will have an uh, incisional healed scar later on. Um, there are a lot of things that I've been doing a lot of research on. I didn't feel the need to buy anything now for the simple fact that I can't apply anything to it. So I'm still trying to figure out what is the best, um, what would be the best ointment or gel or tape. I mean, there's so many options out there on the market. I just didn't feel like... Um, I needed to purchase, purchase one, um, before my surgery. So, but everything else I felt like was kind of optional. I'm not traveling out of town, so I didn't need like, I don't need to pack an overnight bag or anything like that. My surgery is here in Houston. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all that I can think of right now. I am not nervous. Um, I've said my prayers. Um, I know that I'm covered. Uh, I know I'm going to do fine. Um, I have to report at 6 a.m. So I'm assuming I am the first case, which is good because that means the doctor's fresh. <laughs> okay, he's fresh and he's ready to go. Um, but yeah, I can do a more detailed video if you ladies are interested, if this is something that you think that you may want to do in the future. Um, I highly recommend um, you doing whatever you need to make yourself feel um, good. Um, this tummy tuck is something that I've wanted for years, guys. This is not my first consultation or my first time really looking into it. Um, as I said on my previous video, um, God just spoke to me and told me that it was time. It was time for me to have my tummy tuck done. So, um, yeah, uh, there is a, a lot of preparation, especially if you have to lose lose weight. I can definitely talk about those things because, guys, I worked my butt off. Let me tell you, I have gained, lost, gained, lost. But now that I am in my late 40s, this was the hardest I've ever had to work to lose 32 pounds. And when I, when I first did keto, I was in my early 40s. And, guys, I lost almost 60 pounds with no problem with no problem. So I encourage you, if you are trying to lose weight and you are in your early forties or younger girl, do it now, honey, because I had a hard time y'all not going to lie. Um, there are many times that I wanted to say, forget it. Like, is this really, really what you want, Sheena? Even though health is wealth, um, I pretty much live a healthy lifestyle. I really don't have I don't have any health problems. I don't take any medication, but I just felt like, I mean, it just, and maybe because I, I had, I set a time frame, so I felt like I was rushed. Um, when I did keto, I lost all of that weight over, I think, an eight or a nine month period. So that could also be the difference, but um, this has made me realize that I have got to maintain my weight. It's okay to indulge. Um, you do need some balance in your life. It's okay to eat things that are not so good for you in moderation, but I have got to incorporate exercise and healthy eating in my life from here on out, because of course I don't want to mess up my results. And two, it's just, I feel, I feel so much better at this weight. Um, yeah, guys, that's really all that I can think of. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the description. And when I do the Q&A over my little um, vacation, um, I can also answer those questions as well. So, but if you are new here and you like my content, I hope you will consider subscribing. If you are an oldie but a goodie girl, you know I love you. So guys, please like, share, leave me a comment and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you for some recovery vlogs.
All right. Bye.